Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have a special video planned out. So. I'm going to be talking to you all about my Herbst appliance. So I wrote down a bunch of stuff about it. So I'm just going to kind of read off some of my notes and just if you guys are going to get your Herbst appliance, kind of just some notes about it and how it's been going. Hey guys, I just realized um, in this video that I never really include what the Herbst appliance is doing in my mouth and what is its purpose. So that's why I'm cutting in right now in the beginning of the video just to let you guys know. Um, the Herbst appliance is a metal appliance that goes in the, that attaches to my, well, kind of is behind where my braces are. And it basically, what it's doing is moving my jaw forward so that I don't have an overbite. So currently I still have a slight overbite, but obviously they're going to keep moving it forward each time I go and visit. So I'll sit on this. So what they have right now is like that. And usually my jaw wants to be back like all the way over there. So what it does is basically there's a, a hole that one, one of them is hollow and one of them is not. And so it can open and close. And yeah, that's that. And basically that arm like can't move back. Um, so that's kind of what's holding my jaw forward. If that's correct. And these are screws that are keeping the thing in place. And it, when I smile, you can, I have kind of outward dimples because of the screw. But it's okay. And I have noticed that like my selfie are going to be different because like my jaw is a totally different shape now. But yeah. Also, my jawline looks better. And basically, yeah, that's the purpose of the herpes lines to move my jaw forward so I don't have an overbite. And this basically in place of like pulling my teeth out or doing any kind of surgery. So, I'm glad for that. Yeah. It's not a fun process, but it'll be over soon. Not really, but so far I've had it since Wednesday, which was four days I've had it on, yeah. So, um, it took me, so it took me, like, actually, like, four weeks to start it, to, like, do the whole process. So, on um, week one, day one, I got small, clear rubber bands between my braces. I don't have a picture of it, but it's, like, basically separating my teeth. They're called separators, and they hurt a little bit, um... None of them fell out that first time. And then week one, um, like day five, I got big blue bands, which I do have a picture of. So insert that right here. And they hurt so bad. Like, I'm not even kidding. I literally could not handle them. I The first night I had them on, I ate like two whole cups of ice until like my mouth like couldn't like feel the coldness anymore like it wasn't cold for me to eat ice it was really bad and i had lots of ibuprofen i ended up pulling one out or maybe even two but i could not handle them and then so i went back to the orthodontist and they took them all out and they said i have a two-week break until they see me again so then i went back on week four and again I had nothing on, and so then they just put small clear bands again, and they barely hurt at all that time, so, because it was, I was kind of used to it from before. Two of them fell out, though, which was kind of bad, but it was, ended up being fine. Then I went back on day five of week four, and I got the big, big blue bands again, and they hurt super bad again. Three of them ended up falling out, but that's a whole different story. Like, I got these on two days before I got my herpes plant. So, uh, one of them fell out, actually, like, 
the next day. So then I just went back into the place. Uh, and they got it fixed on the sixth day of week four. And they totally fixed it. And so, yeah. Hi guys. So right now I have my separator separators on and I'm getting my harvest wines tomorrow but this is a past me I'm kind of like checking into the video for fun so that's what's in my mouth right now I went to the orthodontist yesterday and today to get these on and so yeah they have been hurting pretty bad not as bad I would say as the first round I got them because I like wasn't used to them at all but this time they're a little bit better, but they're still bad. I've had a lot of Tylenol and stuff like that, ibuprofen. But I'm in the car right now, and that's why I'm kind of, it's a good time for me to do this. But I'm really nervous to get my hair supplies on tomorrow. And this might be the last, like, video of me before I have a lisp for a year, so. I mean, I don't think my lisp is gonna stay for a whole year, but you never know, so. Anyway, let's get back on to the video. I went to the orthodontist and they put that one back on and they kind of fixed any other ones that were loose and that was that and I went back home and they were like, you need to make sure, cause I was gonna get my herb appliance the next morning. So they were like, you need to make sure that None of these fall out because then there won't be room to fit the herbs appliance. So then I was like, okay, like I didn't eat anything basically the rest of the night. And um, what ended up happening was really bad, but one of them actually fell out right before I was going to bed. And I was super scared about it. I was like really nervous that they wouldn't be able to get my herbs appliance and they would be mad at me, the orthodontist. So I had my mom actually get a tweezers and squeeze it back in between my teeth. And it actually worked, and that was fine. So I didn't brush my teeth that night because I was too afraid of anything coming out. In the morning, I brushed my teeth, and that morning, I was going to get my herpes lines on at 10 o'clock. So I brushed my teeth, and then I went to school, and three ended up falling out at school, but I was like, it's going to be fine. Like, they're still going to be able to fit it, I think. So, yeah, that was that, and three fell out at school. Insert a picture here of all of them fall, falling out. And so, that was that. And then we went to the orthodontist at like 10 o'clock. My appointment was for 10.30. And I got my hair appliance on. It barely even hurt as they were putting it on. First they put it on just to like see if it fit. And then they took it out again and put it on with the glue. And this is what it looks like. I think I have a good picture that I'm going to insert right here of my herpes client. So that was my, that's what my herpes appliance looks like. It doesn't hurt that bad. I just got my herpes appliance on and so I'm going to be doing my lisp list. So let's just start. Eugene, apprehensive, cinnamon, sit, hypothesis, and did I say Genevieve already? I don't know. So that's my lisp list. And I don't have as big of a lisp as I thought I was going to. So that's good. And yeah. The first day it hurt a little bit. Um, but here's like what I ate to, that I could eat because it's extremely hard to eat right now. And I've only had it on for four days, but it's been really hard. So, like, right after I got it, I ate a milkshake, and it was perfectly fine. Then I went back to school, and I still had to have lunch, lunch, period. And I barely ate anything. I just had the juice of a fruit cup, and I just ate that, but I didn't have any solid thing at all. Then when I got home, I had some cottage cheese and cut-up pizza and some water, and that was kind of my first day. And then I think I actually went to bed with, like, some chocolate ice cream and milk or something. So that was my first day. It was not too bad. I was very starving, but it's fine. And I, when they first put it on, it felt super weird. Like, I couldn't move my jaw back where I wanted to go. So, like, right now how they have it, I can't move my jaw back anymore. And if my jaw wants to go back, like, all the way, like, 
over there, but I like can't. I kind of figured out a way to do it when I open my mouth, but not really. So, yeah, I can't move my jaw past this, and I want it to go a lot back, but I can't. So they have it like here, and it's um got I've gotten used to it, but the first day was especially super weird. I couldn't like move my jaw at all, basically. And I can't move it, like, side to side, like, how you normally would be able to. I just can't, like, like, go like that and stuff. But, yeah. And everything got stuck. Like, even cottage cheese. Yeah, I said I had cut up pizza on the first night. That was the worst thing ever because it took me seven minutes to brush my teeth to get all the pizza out of my herb supplies. Like, it was not fun. I do not recommend pizza on your first night. But that was all we had, so I kind of was forced to eat it. But I was extremely starving because I had, like, nothing that day. So, I just ate it and went with it. So, yeah. Um, I had a lot of ibuprofen that day, so it didn't really hurt. It didn't end up hurting nearly as much as the blue bands did, so that was good. So, then the next day, um, I woke up and I, I had school that day, so... I was fine, and I had kefir. I just drank that in the morning, like a few sips, a few sips because I don't really like it, but I kind of had to because that was mostly what we had. And then I had a munchkin at student council, and I ate that very in small pieces. So that was a donut that I had, but it was good. It filled me up, and I got a little stuck, but I ended up getting it out. Then for lunch, I had a banana and some juice, water, and cheese ate that kind of fine it was a little bit hard um but i noticed my jaw was didn't feel as weird the second day like of how it was moved and then i had meatballs and noodles for dinner but i cut the meatballs up super into small pieces so that they worked well and um that night i ended up going to target to shop for a bunch of like little um easy to chew foods if yeah, like, not chewable, so that was good. We went to go to Target, and we actually ended up buying a water pick, and I'm going to insert a picture or a video of my water pick right now. Okay, this is my water pick. He's been helping me a lot, and basically all you do is you put water. You open this up, and you put water inside of it. And then you have your water pick full up. It came with four tips, by the way. And let's say you want to spray it. It goes like that, but usually you do it in your mouth. But he's been really helpful. And yeah, so my water pick is like the best thing ever. It helps super much, so you don't have to brush my teeth for seven minutes ever again. If you have braces or herbs appliance or anything in your mouth, I definitely recommend getting a water pick. It changed my whole routine and yeah so i got like pudding applesauce and like some mandarin oranges at target and i ended up eating those like the next day like so much yesterday and i did pretty well yesterday like at lunch i had just like some french fries applesauce and chocolate milk and mandarin oranges and that was it so that was good I guess so then we came home to dinner and my whole family wanted to go to steak and shake so I was like let's do it I went I got a chili mac it was fine for me to eat I didn't even have to cut it up so that was good it got a little stuck in my teeth but I managed to actually go to another store and then come back and use my water pick and brush my teeth but yeah that was fun so and also fun fact about that night we like were at steak and shake our car battery died so we had to like wait in our car for like three hours until our uncle came and he jumped us so that worked out anyway and during that time my dad went shopping so we have like a ton of food and now we have like a bunch of ice cream and stuff like that so that's good for my herb supplies and yeah so i've also been having oatmeal for like the past couple days as my breakfast and I don't love oatmeal that much, but it works with my herbs plant, so I kind of have to eat it. So, 
yeah, and I just recommend not thinking about your Herbs to Plans if you do get it and it's not actually the end of the world. Having Herbs to Plans doesn't mean you're ugly or doesn't mean that you're gonna have a lisp, even though some people do, some people don't. I don't really have a lisp. I had a slight lisp the first day, but I can't even really notice it. Like, if you had never met me before, you would have no clue that I ever had a different voice. Like, my voice is only slightly different. I myself don't even notice that much so yeah don't be like too scared if you're getting your herbs supplies it's really not as big of a deal as i thought i was super nervous going into it i even told the orthodox i was super scared but it did not it wasn't the end of the world the only thing that i didn't really like about the procedure of them putting it on was the taste of the glue obviously that's not going to taste the best but yeah you just have to deal with that and you'll be fine so thank you guys so much for kind of listening to my process of having a herb appliance on. Just kind of letting you guys know a bunch of stuff about it. Hopefully you stick in until the end of the video. And yeah, let me know if you want to see more videos of updates with my herb appliance. Or just comment down below any video idea. I'd definitely be down to do anything you guys suggest. So thank you so much for watching and bye guys.